Okay, good morning class. Good morning, sir. Please take your seat. So, how is your day? Good. Oh, good. Fine. Okay. That's great. So, since it's our first day of meeting, right? Yes. I will introduce myself. My name is Jericho Dakanai. Um, you can also call me Teacher Echo. Okay? Yes, sir. So, uh, um, I want to know your names. Can we start? Good morning, sir. My name is Jericho Tangara. I'm 14 years old. Okay, to make it clear what Jelly Beth? Yes. Um, how about you? Michelle. Okay, so I am your teacher for the subject um, Home Economics, uh, Technology and Library of Education, um, focusing on Home Economics, Beauty, Care. So now, before we proceed to our topic, um, who wants to lead the prayer? Okay, Michelle, can you lead the prayer? Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. To be continued to guide us and bless us. Amen. Amen. So, good morning, class. Welcome to my class. Yeah. So, are, are you an avid fan of GMA 7? Yes, sir. Do you know the game Pinoy Henyo? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, I have prepared three words and I will give you one minute each for each word to guess who wants to volunteer. Okay, come in front. Then the other one will serve as your. Uh, siya yung magsabi ng oo oh, hindi. Okay? So, are you ready? Yes. How are you feeling right now? Are you nervous? Excited? Nervous. Okay, so your role is. Ikaw yung magsasabi ng oo oh, oh, hindi. Pwede. Okay? Yes. Michelin? Okay, so let's start. Your first word is. And. Your one minute starts now. Parte na ulo. Katawan. Kamay. Tuhod. Sa dalire. Puko. Nails. Very good. You got you got it correctly. Now, who wants to try the second word? Yes, Micheline, come in front. And you, you try to guess the second word. Ikaw naman ang magsasabi ng oo, pwede hindi. So, ang clue natin dito ay parts of the human body, external, yung nakikita sa panlabas. Okay? So, your second word to guess is your time, one minute starts now. Upper, no. uh, lower, no. Um, middle, yes. Um, hand, yes. Wow, you got it correctly. That was fast. So for the last one, um, ikaw na lang. Gusto mo bang ikaw na lang ang sumagot sa pangatlong yes. ano? Okay. So your third word, your last and third word is, yeah, yeah your time starts now. Um, sa taas, wala. Um, sa uh, kamay, Okay, your time is up. So, hindi mo siya nahulaan. Ang hulaan mong word ay P. Ayun. So, it's okay. Um, at least mayroon kayong nahulaan. So, based from our game, what do you think is our lesson for today? Any idea? Based on our game, what do you think is our lesson for today? You have no idea. So, our lesson for today is about the basic concepts of nail care. History, okay? So, nail care is considered as the proper maintenance of fingernails and toenails. 
Through periodic maintenance of nails, fungal infection and ingrown nails are not prevented. So, alam nyo ba ang ingrown nails? Nakikita na ba kayo ng ingrown nails? Yes. Have you ever experienced it yet? Yes. So, masakit ba? Yes. <laughs> so, I have here pictures of fungal infection and ingrown nails. So, saan nga ba nakukuha yung mga yan? Any idea? Kung saan natin nakukuha, bakit nagkakaroon ng ganyan ang ating mga kuko? So, fungal infection and having ingrown on our nails are very common um, because um, of, uh, because of the improper way, way of cleaning our nails. Right? Dahil yung kapag naglilinis tayo ng kuko, yung mga ginagamit nating tools at yun, um, nas, may, siguro nasusugatan kaya nagkakaganyan ang ating kuko. Okay? So, moving on. Manicure and pedicure are treatments one can receive where in nails are grown. So, moving on. Can we read the definition of manicuring, Micheline? Manicuring a manas figure of the treatment for the fingernails and hands. It comes from the Latin words manus and nails. Thank you, Micheline. So, it is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the fingernails and hands. And it comes from the Latin words manus means hand. And cura means ear. Moving on. Um, believe it or not, people have been manicuring their nails for more than 5,000 years. So, napakatagal na pala. Nobility in Babylonia used solid gold to, tools to manicure and pedicure their nails. Wow! Gumagamit daw sila ng gold to, tools to manicure and pedicure their nails. So, napakayaman nila. Right? Yes. Can you read the next paragraph? Yes, Michelle. Michelle. According to a Ming Dynasty manuscript, nail spalling has actually been made by the So, according to Ming Dynasty manuscript, nail polish has a history dating back even further 3000 BC when nail color indicated one social status. So, binamit pala ang nail color to indicate one social status. So, royals painted their nails black and red. Ah, kaya pala. Yung mga royalty ay, ang mga kuko nila, ang, ang kulay ng mga kuko nila ay black and red. Okay, so, next, can you read, um, Jolibet? Egyptian use red to design, 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 designate the highest social status. So kung sa royalty um ang red sa kanila um ang red sa kanila ay sa royalty sa Egyptians naman ang red palace sa kanila um, ay naka-designate sa mga social status also moving on military commanders in ancient Egypt and Rome were known to paint their nails to match their lips before going off the battle. Bakit kaya kailang i-match ang lips at nails nila bago sila sumaba? You know, camouflage? Yes. Yes. Para hindi sila mahalata ng kalaban nila. Okay? So, before nail polish was around, people in India used henna, a brownish red substance for their Money pure. So, sa India naman, do you, do you know henna? Have you tried henna or narinig nyo na ba yung henna na word? It is a, um, a tattoo, um, not permanent. So, before India, yung henna daw ay ginagamit nila sa money pure. So, moving on, can we read um, really good? Over time, fashionable nails never lose popularity. In the 20th century, different types of manicures came into existence. 
Artificial glue on these became a quiz for people who did not want to or could not grow their natural nails long. So, may mga tao pa lang nahihirapang magpahaba ng kanilang nails. You, um, have you ever tried to put artificial glue on your nails? Have you ever seen um, artificial nails? Not yet. So, I have here examples of artificial glue on nails. They look so beautiful, right? Yes. So, today, nail materials have evolved to state-of-the-art products. Polish comes in every color of the rainbow. Wow. So, the French manicure was popular in the 1920s to 1930s and still today is considered as the most popular for fingers or even toes. I have here um, samples of French manicure. Yeah. Pag mas dang mabuti. Okay? Yes. Kindly read the definition of pedicure in Michelin. Pedicure. One print group by the appearance of feet and the nails. It comes from the Latin words as means foot and pure means foot. Okay. So, nails serve several important purposes. They help humans function. Can we read um, Juliet's definition? Nail are bas basically flat version of clothes that help human be applied with scratch, grab, and more. Yes. Nagamit natin ang ating nails to scratch the blind, right? Yes. Okay. Next, can we read Micheline? Regard of nails and tools. They serve as effective place that help prevent the fingers and toes from getting proper scratch during the walking. Yes. And can we read Micheline? I, Julie Beth? They enhance the sensation. Enhance the sensation. sensation. The fingers and toes condense nerve endings. Nerve endings that allow the body to process the volumes of information that it receives every time something is touched and the nails act as a counter force, providing even more sensory input. Input Input after, after a person touches something. So, ayan. So, those. We have those and don'ts. Those keep nails, shape, and trim. Then, do, you, do you trim your nails? Yes. Okay, that's good. Use nails as tools. Um, ginagamit nyo ba yung nails nyo? To open or something or what? Yes. Yes. Don't. Diba? <laughs> Dapat hindi natin yung gamitin ang ating mga nails as a tools. Okay, next. Keep nails dry and clean. Don't bite nails. Have you ever beaten your nails? No? Not yet? Okay, that's good. Moisturize the cuticle area. Mm -hmm. um, pull off hang nails. Do you know hang nails? Yun yung sinasabi natin sir sir. You know sir sir? Yes. yes. Di ba masakit yun? Yes. Kaya don't pull off hang nails. Okay? Sterilize nail tools. So, why do we have to sterilize um, nail tools? Bakit kailangan natin i-sterilize yung mga gagamitin natin yung tools, nail tools? Yes, very good. We have to sterilize nail tools to prevent bacteria. Um, to create diseases, right? So, don't overuse polish remover. So, kayo, kapag nagtatanggal kayo ng, ng nail polish sa mga kuko nyo, gumagamit pa kayo ng polish remover? Acetone. Acetone or what? Yes. Don't overuse polish remover. Kasi masasaktan yung ating mga kuko. 
Okay. So this impact tears or cuts on the cuticle and push the cuticle back to far. Kapag tayong naglilinis, huwag natin daw isagad kasi masasaktan yung cuticle natin. Okay? And treat in grown and torn nails as soon as possible. Okay? Yes. So, that concludes our lesson for today. Do you have any question? Okay, if not, um, let's have an activity. So, I have here prepared an activity. What I want you to do Can you read the direction, Micheline? Understand the statement carefully. Put a happy hobby to take the statement slow and sad hobby to take the statement slow. So, is it clear the direction of our activity for today? Yes. Read and understand this statement carefully. Put a happy emoji if you think this statement is true and sad emoji if you think this statement is false. I will place the emojis <coughs> up on top of your table and now can you read oh, oh, oh. Okay, can you read the number one? Nail yeah. care is the improper maintenance of fingernails in companies. So what what emoji will you put? Uh -huh. Okay, number two, Micheline. Girl periodic maintenance of males from my intention on the loan. Males are not redundant. What emoji will you put? No, yes. And number three, Billy Beth. Manicure and pedicure are treatments one can receive where emails are blue. Mm -hmm. So is it a happy emoji or sad emoji? Number four, manicure is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the two nails. Manicuring is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the two nails. Is it a happy emoji or sad emoji, Michelle? Okay. Mm -hmm. Number five. Nails are basically flat version of clothes that help human beings like scratch each other. Is it a happy or sad emoji? Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to question number six. Yes, Micheline. Okay, mm -hmm. sad. How about the oh number nine? Okay, no, don't mind the you know, this answer. Okay, it comes from the Latin word manus meaning care. Mm -hmm. oh, all right. Okay. Number eight. And number nine. And last, number ten. The nail serves as protection for the fingers in toes and are made up of different parts. Is it a sad or happy? Okay, so let's check your activity. So nail care is the improper maintenance of fingernails and toenails. So you answered sad emoji. Why? <coughs> because of the word improper. Right? Yes. Okay. What should be the word? 
Proper. Proper. Very good. So, let's move to number two. Through periodic maintenance of nails, fungal infection in ingrown nails are not prevented. You answered happy emoji. Yeah, correct. Manicure and pedicure are treatments one can receive when nails are groomed. Happy, correct? Yes. Manicure is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the two nails. You answered happy. I sad emoji. Why? What is the word that not make the statement false? Manicuring is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the two nails. Manicuring. So what is manicuring? No, very good. Toenails. Well, ano ang dapat na word na nandiyan? Very good. So, nails are basically flat versions of cloths that help humans dig lines, etc. Okay? Happy emoji, correct? Pedicuring is a cosmetic beauty treatment for fingernails. Finger. Yes. It should be toenails, right? So, comes from the Latin word panus, meaning care. Yes, correct. And the fingers and toes contain their ending, happy, and so on and so forth. So, you got it all correctly. Congratulations. Clap yourselves. Yes. So, to... Kindly bring out one for sheet of paper and answer the following so that to, to know if you truly understand our lesson. I will give you two, two minutes to answer the question. Answer only. Okay, so time is up. Now let's check your papers. Okay, so number one is yes, manicuring is the answer for number one. Number two. Yes, Micheline, it's henna. Very good. Number three comes from the Latin word cura means very good care. So what color do you think Egyptians used to designate their highest social status? Very good, red. And lastly, it is considered as the most popular for fingers and even toes. It is a, a um, bansa siya, bansa. French, French manicure, right? So, who got perfect score? Four, three, okay, very good. So, what is manicuring again? Yes, Micheline, you're, you're, you're saying a... Can you share your, your thoughts? What is manicuring again? Very good, Micheline. It is a cosmetic beauty treatment for the fingernails. So, how about pedicuring? Yes, Julie Beth. It's a cosmetic beauty treatment for the toenails. Very good, Michelle. Uh, Julie Beth. So, what do you think um, is the advantage of having clean nails? Anyone from the class? Um, what do you think is the advantage of having clean nails? Um, bakit kailangan nating maglinis ng ating mga kuko? Para hindi siya even sir, para magaling ng nails. And one thing more, um, clean nails is a re reflection of person with good hygiene. Right? 
So, how do you maintain your clean nails? By simply trimming, uh, yeah, trimming your nails and removing the dirt of your nails, right? So, for your assignment, search for the different tools using nail care services. Different shape tools, materials, and equipment used in nail care services. So, that would be all for today. Goodbye, class. Goodbye. Bye.